What's up guys? Today I am making a list of every single bad keyword in a eBay title that I posted that resulted in a Vero violation or any kind of policy violation that I had to fix. Okay, and we're talking about results from over 200,000 different items, all right? So before I get too much into this list, I already made it, right? It's right here, see? Woo, I already made it, but it's in physical form. So I'm gonna convert it to digital form and talk about the words as I'm doing them. And then you guys will be able to just view this document and then know that, okay, these are keywords that are associated with items that got me policy violations, right? So knowing that, you can avoid them. Woohoo! all right? And this isn't like a matter of preference. This is literally like, okay, if this word is in the title, it's probably going to result in a violation, all right? This isn't like something that's up for consideration. This is, these are keywords that gave me violations, okay? And this is a list that I compiled over data from the past two years, all right? And the way that I compiled it is I went into my Gmail account and I found every single email that had anything to do with a policy violation or a Vero complaint, copyright infringement, anything that I had to fix, right? Or that I got in trouble for. And I opened up every single one of them and then I went through and I just looked at the titles of the violations and I looked for unique words in the titles. Because like, for example, here, okay, the word black, black describes tons of items that aren't violating items, right? You can't use that. But something like serrated, well, there are some kitchen knives that are serrated that you're gonna, you're gonna miss out on by eliminating this, but you're gonna eliminate anything else which is serrated knives that you shouldn't be selling on eBay. So in this case, I would use the word serrated, also the word entourage, the word meprolite, the word Troy Industries. Anytime it's like a, a specific brand, then I'll just, I'll use that to uh, eliminate the keywords, right? So now you understand that I created this list that I have right here by going through all of the violations that I received from over posting, posting over 200,000 different items, okay? So now let's start making the document. I don't need this anymore because I already um, took care of it. So we're gonna go to the bad keywords document I made here and I named the title and we're gonna click share and we're going to make it make a shareable link, and anyone with the link can view. That's perfect. I normally do can edit, but in this particular situation, I'm just gonna do can view. So you can copy all of these um, and then paste them somewhere, that's fine. But the link to this document, which is gonna be done by the time you're seeing this video, um, is gonna be in the description of the video below. That way, I guess, or that way. I, I'm not sure which way, all right? So I'm gonna copy this for now. Um, just so it's usable later. So here we go. We're gonna start our keyword list. So, I don't really need too much information in this sheet. It's just gonna be a list of every single keyword that's in the title, okay? So for now, I'm just gonna type out this whole document and then I'm gonna th go through afterwards and start talking about each different keyword, okay? Not every single one of them, but some of these keywords will eliminate, um, they will eliminate items that aren't necessarily bad. Like the word camo, there's a lot of camo colored things, right? That aren't gonna give you violations. But in my experience, I'm working with such huge lists of items, like there's no point in me not using, not getting rid of a bad keyword just so I can have like a hundred more items to sell. Like, I'm working with lists of hundreds of thousands of items, so that doesn't make sense. It's just not worth the risk, right? Because if you get enough violations, you lose your ability to post. And when you lose your ability to post, that means that your items cannot renew. So it's not so much that you can't post items and that's the dangerous part. The dangerous part is the bleeding. And bleeding is when you have a, a, a suspension on your account and you can't post new items, so your old items go to renew, and instead of renewing, they just get taken down. That's bleeding, okay? Um, and that can really screw things up. Like, really, really screw things up. So, let's just keep going. I got a bit distracted there. Um, okay. These first keywords have to do with um, 
guns and weapons. So these are things that are commonly found in the titles of uh, weapons. And then afterwards, it's mostly Vero items um, or items that cause problems. Let's, let's just get this done. So some of these, like, okay, windshield. Let's talk about windshield and 3D rows real quick. So windshield and 3D rows, they're not linked to Vero violations or anything like that. But the thing is, okay, imagine you have a list of 100,000 items you pulled from Walmart. About 10 to 15,000 of those are 3D rows items. Okay, when you're, when you're bulk posting, you do not want tons of the same kind of item. 3D rows is a printing service. So they sell things like mugs with memes on them or pictures of dogs and you'll find that they have like hundreds and hundreds of thousands not okay tens of thousands of items on Walmart I don't want to sell any of those because adding those it's not worth the insertion fees of adding all of them I'm not gonna sell enough of them to make it worth it same thing with windshield Walmart sells windshield covers for every single model of car pretty much so you have thousands and thousands and thousands of different windshields available and it's just not worth posting all of them. So I eliminate, I use these keywords to get them out of the list so I don't pay for the insertion fees to post them in the first place. All of these keywords are either because it causes a problem with Vero, it causes a policy violation, weapons, guns, assault rifles, knives, that kind of thing, or it causes inefficient sales or it isn't it's it's associated with an item that just doesn't really sell okay or it's associated with items that have variations because variations do not perform very well in bulk so that's why this word choose is here because a lot of Walmart titles have the word choose your color in the title so I know with certainty that if the title has the word choose that that means that it's a variation for different colors, which is going to cause me problems if I bulk post it. So by having the word choose in this list of bad items, I can eliminate that from happening in the first place. In the same way that choose works, you also have a word like multiple, because it'll say like available in multiple colors. And again, another available, because sometimes it's available in multiple finishes, available in multiple colors, that kind of stuff. With each of these keywords, we are going to eliminate a handful of items that we weren't trying to get rid of, but it's a very small price to pay for profitability and less problems, okay? So, all right, let me get back on track. I was at multiple or Acura. Broadhead, okay, there we go. So you'll see that there's a lot of car names here, and that's because there's a bunch of auto parts for sale on Walmart, and I've never really sold any of them, so I just avoid selling them in the first place. Mercedes, Ford, Toyota, Mazda, Dodge, Nissan, Lexus, Mitsubishi, Volkswagen, Cadillac, Automobile, Carpet, Rug, Runner. Okay, I don't sell carpets, rugs, and runners because of the same issues I was talking about with the multiple sizes thing. And also because there's tons of carpets available on Walmart. And I just remember that at the beginning, I rawly posted everything. So I didn't do this step where I'm getting rid of these items. So it's not that I just have never tried to sell these. It's that I know from experience that these items produce problems, right? And carpets, rugs, and runners are often available in multiple sizes, and then I have to go through and fix the listings, and it's easier to just not post it in the first place, okay? Um, same thing with curtains. And sheet. Mattresses. Uh, bed's a bit vague, so I'll keep that. But king. Queen. Shot. 
Magnum, Break, Rock, Ville, Cavoir, Edge, Wart, Hog. So you can tell some of these are specific names. Cavar, whereas other ones are kind of vague, right? So Nickstar, like Nickstar is a brand. A lot of the n names you're gonna see on the later part of this list are brands or companies that produce accessories for weapons and pistols and assault rifles and all that. So if you just have a list of the brands that produce those um, items, then you can eliminate the problems from ever happening, which is awesome. Okay, so we have Nickstar, and here we go, Pistol. Um, this one's, okay, Gift. Sometimes you wanna use two keywords because we wanna get rid of gift, gift cards because we can't sell those, it, it violates eBay's policy unless we have them physically in person, which I don't. Um, but we don't wanna get rid of the word gift because gift has a lot of like gift box, gift set, there's tons of items that we can actually sell that have the word gift. So we have to be a bit more specific and add that colon card because you don't wanna get rid of all the items that contain gift, but you do wanna get, get rid of anything that has gift card in it. So we'll do that, okay? Um, all right, all right, we're about halfway done now. So here we go. Oops. Photo. Huh. Ooh, canvas is a good one. So Walmart has tons of canvas art, like tons and tons and tons of it. And I've sold a couple, but like just because you sell a couple, if you post 10,000 items and you only sell one or two of them, it's not worth doing. And they're similar to 3D Rose, Walmart has tons of canvas art. Tons of it. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I lost my place, sorry. Canvas, ah, here we go, okay. Black cork, hunting, keychain, primer, sedan, swiffer, Lidden, bear, costume, phone, prepaid, kills, Available, multiple, oh, I already did those. Jordan, Eco, Eco Tools, Always, Per, Real, Techniques, Sheet World. Okay, so now we're into the section that's all Vero violation. These are all gonna be um, like brand names and that kind of thing that I got dinged for before. And I'll have you know that the most common one to be dinged for was Procter and Gamble. And that's the company that sells Tide, Swiffer, all those kind of cleaning products. I've gotten tons of violations from them and I'm actually surprised I didn't get in more trouble because now that I've gone through and looked at every violation, there were multiple times I got violations for the same kind of items because again, in the past, I didn't have this bad keyword filter. I just didn't do it because I knew that I needed to learn and get everything ready and eventually I would in the future. Well, now I'm at that point where I'm doing it in the future, right? Um, okay. One second, my phone's ringing, so you might hear a vibration. We are at Sheet World. Sheet World, okay. Fused chicken. Oh, I don't need that underscore. Chicken. Chicken. Zantec. Kitchen Aid. Dream Water. Frozen Dessert. Wait. It's, des it's not dessert? Oh, I gotta look that up real quick. One second, sorry. I got tons of violations from them in one list, like a really long list, right? Frozen, frozen desserts. Here we go. Yeah, it's three. Okay, awesome. Frozen dessert. Eric, I'm, I'm recording, I'm sorry. I'll call you back. Frozen dessert. Um, Frozen dessert, it's actually frozen dessert supplies, but I mean, frozen dessert's fine. It's not like there's that many frozen desserts. Um, RDX, Big Mouth, Zach, no, Zach-curate. Zach-curate. Hurricane, training, mask, OTC, Sen, Kaiser, Joy, Baby, Ak, U, Ritz, um, Ro 
Rosetta Stone. Oh, KitchenAid already did, I think, right? KitchenAid, yeah, KitchenAid's already there. Cobra, Solascape, Incipio, LG. I do this afterwards if the keyword is too vague, like LG. I can't just eliminate the occurrence of LG everywhere because like that would, a lot of words, like regular words have LG in them, right? Um, actually, that's not super common, but generally if it's one or two uh, letters, then I'll add a space afterwards because that means that it'll look for only when it's kind of like this, right? Like Im imagine that you have a title, LG is gonna be its own word. So there'll be spaces before and after LG usually, right? So in that situation, that's what I would do. But anyway, moving on. We are almost done, guys. Um, Medline, that was a big one. Velcro, as seen on TV. Desert, or actually just bullet. Bullet, um, water, pick, teeter, sani, stick. Form, new fit, Nissan, Derma Wand, Kara Stace, Lamaze, Simply Fit, L'Oreal, uh, Night Watch, Zep, Casio, Quick Book, Raven, Wacom, GoPro, Srixon, Mackie, Go Moji, T Y uh, L T N Famil. Uh, what's this? I spelled this wrong. It's not Sryzen. It's Srixen. Srixen. No, Srixen. Okay, there we go. Good. All right, N Famil. Um, Stoke, pepper spray. This is another example where we could just get rid of pepper, but pepper is a, a viable thing that we don't want to like, that we want to sell sometimes, like pepper shakers, black pepper, white pepper, red pepper, you know, there's tons of them. So we want to add spray so it's more specific. Um, pepper spray, self defense, PBPK, nah. Madinola, Porcelana, AR-15, 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 Nikon, Millet, Warn, MRE, Beretta, AK, um, AK-47, AK-47, AK-47. <laughs> Um, AK, okay, where were we? Nikon, I already did that one. We are at, okay, Nickstar, I think I already did, but we'll add it to, yeah, I already did it. Nickstar, Barska, Gas, Block, Burris, Aminexil, Faces of Death, Crossman, Carbine, Command Arms, Serrated, Metro Light, Troy, and Sight. Awesome. I think I used, did I use Sight earlier? Sight, Optic, Tactical, Scope. Yeah, I did already use Sight at the beginning, I think, right? Let's see. Sights. Yeah, it's in there twice. That's fine. Okay, cool. So now we have the list of Vero keywords. Keywords that result in Vero violations or policy violations or items that are not worth selling. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little bit longer so you guys understand what this is. We'll make it bold and add some, let's add some color, right? And let's increase the size here. And we can just go like that, okay? Awesome, and then just for the heck of it, 
I'm going to center everything because I like how that looks. Yay! All right. So now you guys can get this list and use it for however you want. If you're worried about getting Vero violations, if you've gotten a lot of them recently, then using this list to eliminate any items that contain any one of these words uh, will help prevent that from happening. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time. Ciao.